while I definitely agree with what you're saying about Black Americans not sending in samples and distrust of healthcare, that's not exactly what I'm pointing out. If a test is saying that a person is 50% West African, that should show up on their chromosomes, and it doesn't. I've talked about this in many videos, but this is from GED Match. It takes my DNA, compares it to ancient DNA. So no labels, just DNA to DNA comparison. So it aligns with the European that I'm getting with that mixture, but nothing in this output suggests West African, even though, yes, there are publicly available sequence genomes from West Africa, and those have been uploaded to GED Match. This is my low coverage DNA map from DNA Genetics. So even though this is still a projected admixture, you can see how the European, the 2.8% European is mapped onto my chromosomes, but not the 50% West African or the 20% North African even. So I personally think it's a very valid point, definitely something that we should all be questioning. The European ancestry that is projected on the admixture calculators does show up on my chromosome level matches through IBS, even with the chromosome painting. But the West African, the Sub-Saharan African, the North African, the whatever African only shows up in admixture. It never shows up when I get down to a segment level looking at my actual DNA. So if these admixture percentages can't be confirmed on the actual chromosome, then how is it real? How can you say that somebody is 50% West African and they literally are not matching any known African DNA samples? This is well beyond the models. It's about what the models are trying to sell us. It's about the models telling us who we are, trying to come up with a way to categorize us that is just not true. And I'm not speaking for every single person, but again, I've run at least 10 samples. And they were showing the same patterns as me. So I can't believe that these people are just mystical unicorns. There has to be more that's going on to the story.